This is the Boker Plus Texas Toothpick, a modern day liner lock folder modeled after the traditional slip joint pattern Texas Toothpick, which has a long horn-shaped curve like a uh, steer horn-shaped handle, and then a long slender California clip or Turkish clip point blade, or sometimes it's called the muskrat clip, but a long slender clip point blade that is not called a Texas clip point blade uh, is in the um, Texas toothpick, traditionally. All right, oh, that was difficult. Uh, so most common size you see a Texas toothpick in these days is a very small uh, mini size with like a two inch blade. Uh, I have this one, this is the only toothpick I have. This is from Rough Rider and you see it's got the horn shape uh, it does not have what is traditionally uh, the long sweeping California clip on this one, uh, which I kind of wish it did. Uh, that's what got my attention uh, on this knife immediately. It is so beautiful. It reminds me of, it's like in that um, Urban Trapper style of knife, uh, the Brad Zinker Urban Trapper style of knife, uh, but it is... Uh, obviously taking all of its design and profile cues from the Texas toothpick. It's got a very nicely polished and uh, very sharp uh, scalpel-like, I like to say scalpeline. I think I created that word and I think it's pretty fancy. Uh, long, slender, scalpeline blade of VG10. Uh, I just discovered today how sharp it is. I've been, I've had it and I haven't really used it much, but I mean, it is... You can get these little curly cues. It is very, very sharp. Um, you know, so uh, I'm going to strop this and get it, you know, stupendously, wickedly sharp just for for no good reason. Uh, but that's uh, what knives should be uh, like. Okay, so uh, I opted for the Cocobolo handle. I love it. I'm um, into wood on handles these days. And um, so it's nice to see Cocobolo. It reminds me of another Boker I have, this one, the Gedritis Design Smatchet, a much larger knife, uh, but also benefits beautifully uh, by the wood. Look at this, the profile of this hides completely within the profile of that. Love it, this is a cool knife. Cocobolo handle, as I mentioned, uh, the steel liners sit proud of the handle. That's a look that I like and something that is of no concern to me in terms of uh, conductive, you know, condu um, being conductive to heat and um, cold. This isn't that kind of knife you got to worry about. You're, you're not going to be pulling this out in the winter to do hard work and it's going to be too cold because those liners sit proud. Uh, you get good access to the lock bar there and I like the very uh, subtle jimping there uh, allows you to just grab it. This is a very slender knife. And, um, you know, for if you have big giant mitts, this might not be the knife for you. Uh, but a lot of gentlemen's knives, you can say that for. I think this is a legit gentleman's knife. Um, I don't have too many of them. I would say this is one. Um, when you flip it over, uh, something that stands out is that titanium banana that they have as a clip it is an odd um it's a little incongruous in terms of the design of the knife i think the profile of it is nice um but this setup here is odd the way the scale stops and then it's a big solid uh, piece of titanium there um ultimately uh does it hold the knife in your pocket well yes and does it perform its secondary function, which is, which is as an extra grip. This is such a thin knife. It gives you a little extra grip and then a little extra girth in hand when you're using it. So it aids in grip. Does it do that? Yes, it does. Does it look odd with that sort of blasted titanium when everything else is shiny and steel? Yeah, it, it kind of does. Uh, is it a deal breaker? No. Am I asking too many questions? Yes. Why? I don't know. Can I stop? No. Look at those standoffs. Uh, I kind of want to see one at the very end, but again, then you wouldn't get that nice long reach all the way into the tail end of the handle. Uh, really, really sweet little knife. Let me show you uh, just by way of comparison. Here it is with the um, Delica. 
And here it is with the Endura. So one's larger, one's smaller, obviously. But uh, this kind of gives you an idea. Um, it is very thin. Look at how thin it is. I mean, uh, most of us have held a, a, a Delica in hand. Feels nice, feels good, but it also is a smallish knife. This, I mean, you know. So this makes up for it a bit with the fact that it is the same width as uh, as these Endura and Delicas. Actually, it's not as thick as the uh, Endura, but it's about as thick as the Delica. And then add the titanium banana, and you've got something to hold on to. Um, so yeah, I think this would be a great knife for a uh, suit carry if you have real light pants, but you want your knife clipped into your pocket. That can be a problem. Uh, I think this would be good for that. This would be great for uh, inside blazer pocket carry. Um, this I've even carried this in the shirt, uh, in the breast pocket of a of a of a rather stout materialed shirt, but it was just fine. And also in flannel, just fine there. It's kind of that CEO style of knife. And I throw up these quotes because I don't know if that's actually a thing. I've heard it said, but you know, reminiscent of the CRKT. Uh, CEO that you can just pop in your shirt pocket um, and it might be mistaken for something other than a knife. So I, I like this knife a lot and uh, yeah I would say if you like the Texas toothpick uh, as a slip joint knife uh, oh you owe it to yourself to get this because it is a very cool uh, and very useful uh, homage to the Texas toothpick. And by the way, t large toothpicks are hard to come by, and this would qualify as a large toothpick. So there you go. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. Just be safe. All right, talk to you later.